I'm Jimmy Lewis with Dirt Rider Magazine, and today we're going to talk about KTM's different chassis and suspension systems. What we have here is three brand new 300s. We have the Husaberg TE 300 that uses the older style KTM PDS system. Its upper shock mount is directly on the back of the frame. We have the newer style XCW PDS system, which has what we call an isolated shock mount. So the upper mount is isolated off the back of the frame backbone. And then of course we have the 300 XC, which is like all of the SXs, has KTM's linkage system. And we're gonna talk about how they affect the uh, handling feel and the chassis feel when you're riding these bikes. So we took the bikes to the scientific dirt rider testing lab, used proper tools, and took a really close look at what these things are made of so we can explain it to you. The area we're gonna talk about in these bikes that makes the biggest difference in what you're feeling when you're riding is this upper part where they attach the shock to the back of the frame. Now, KTM's done a couple different things here. We have a linkage list system and a link system. This is the XC. This one has the link, but it also, it's unique in the way it's mounted to the back of the frame. What KTM has done is instead of mounting it directly into the back of the frame, they've built this tower and they've extended the frame backbone, swung it up a little bit, and then put the shock and mounted it out here to try to isolate some of the forces. So when your rear wheel hits a bump, it sends all that force up into this shock, and instead of transferring it straight up into the frame, it's kind of isolated back out here, and there's a lot of flex character that controls what you feel through the handlebars and the foot pegs. This is the 300 XCW. It's new chassis for this year, but last year this was on the XCs. It's the linkage list system, and what they've done is they've isolated the upper part of the shock where it mounts to the frame away from the main backbone. That's the kind of key to the new PDS system. Very similar to the way they're mounting the link shock as well, but if you look closely up in this upper area, you can see how the mounting point is a little bit different because it is throwing a slightly different amount of force up into the chassis. And this is the TE300 Husaberg. It's basically the 2011 and 2010 KTM XCW frame, which uses a shorter PDS shock, linkageless of course, and it puts the shock mount right on the back of this frame backbone. So essentially that's transferring the forces pretty much directly into this frame backbone. It's not isolated up on a tower like it is on the other bikes. And if you think all that shock tower stuff is crazy, all you have to do is take a look at the head stays on these bikes and it shows just how much additional tuning goes into controlling the flex and chassis character of these motorcycles. Engineers, we are not. But in theory, what KTM has done with their newer frame systems is to isolate the amount of shock force that you're gonna feel. That force gets transferred up the backbone of the frame and you end up feeling it in the handlebars. So they're trying to lessen that sensation. The other advantage of the new frames is they've given, especially on the PDS, a little bit more shock length, which helps them control the shock stroke. On the XE, which has the linkage, now they can throw a little bit more progressive kick in there so they have even more control. So it's three basically different versions of the same thing. What's gonna be neat is we've got three identical motors in three different chassis. We're gonna be able to go out and ride these things and report back and tell you how they really work. So look for that test in the pages of Dirt Rider Magazine and we'll see you out on the trail.